The story of Western Europe is both fascinating and tragic. For good and for ill, it has affected every corner of this planet. Now, it's one thing to read its history. It's another to watch it come alive. To see through the eyes of those that lived it and to envision a different time and place. Imagine looking over the rooftops of an industrial city, smokestacks of progress propelling us into the world we know. Living in colonial America, watching ships sail into a tense city, revolution in the air. Strolling across the bridges of Paris, a city flourishing during the reign of the Sun King. Watching the sun rise over Florence at the dawn of the Renaissance. Imagine sailing down the Thames when the Tower of London dominated the skyline. Experience the hustle and bustle of the markets of 10th century Jerusalem in the shadow of the Dome of the Rock. Experience the isolation of a Viking village during the Dark Ages, clinging to the edge of the world. Imagine standing atop the lighthouse of Alexandria, looking out over the sea at the twilight of classical antiquity. Living in the Eternal City, at the height of the Roman Empire. Imagine. Rome, a city that rose to dominate the Mediterranean world, crushing all resistance no matter how brilliant or daring were their enemies. In that republic, a general rises to power, only to be brought down by those closest to him. And in the ensuing civil war, an empire is born with might, spectacle, tragedy, and wonder, but nothing is eternal, no empire lasts, and with the barbarians closing in, crashing through the gates, Rome falls. But the memory is preserved in the abbeys, and in the villages of Europe, life continues. New cultures, new peoples on the rise, and from the north a cold wind blows, and with it come raiders. Fearless and deadly. Kingdoms rise and fall. Life endures. Thrives. And common people will create breathtaking structures that will be the wonder of their age. Religion will dominate, pushing civilizations towards epic confrontations, apocalyptic battles. It will be an age of oppression, war, plague, hope, and then a spark, a vision of beauty, imagination, a new way of thinking. Against the established order, it would inspire a few, and then many, and that spark would explode against a backdrop of corruption, fanaticism, intolerance. It will inspire to push back the boundaries of their world. Humanity will be changed forever. Old institutions will be challenged by new ideas, plunging countries into turmoil, igniting wars in the name of God. New cultures encountered, new bonds are formed. Individuals will rise to absolute power. Power that will be challenged, fought. Tyrants will seize it, kings restored to it. Great minds will reveal even more. Their greed will send them around the world, tearing lands from their people. And across an ocean, tearing people from their lands. 
The pace of events will quicken. Tensions will rise. A declaration will challenge an empire, and an idea will become a nation. And with millions of voices crying out for liberty, a republic is born in blood. And the monarchs of Europe are brought to their knees. Nothing will ever be the same, not in their hearts or their minds. Their zeal will push them too far, dominating what isn't theirs. Propelled into the modern world, driven by industry and innovation, Europe will rise to the pinnacle of its power, and with fever and arrogance, bluster and pride, with the blood of their innocence. They'll tear it all down. And a new world order will rise. <laughs>